There have only been four dynasties throughout the last 10 years in sports. The 2010s Giants, the New England Patriots in football, the Golden State Warriors in basketball, and finally the Houston Astros in baseball as well as the Giants. And when you evaluate every single one of these teams, there's always one thing in common that they have. Every single one of these teams has what I call a maestro, a field general. For the Patriots, it was the quarterback with Tom Brady. For the Giants, it was their pitching staff, as well as Buster Posey. And in basketball, it was Draymond Green for the Warriors. The guys that conduct the offense, the guys that put guys where they're supposed to be, the guys that create shots and open looks for other guys, the guys that drive the offense. And in some cases like basketball, the defense too. For any team that's gone over a long stretch of period where they dominated their sports, they have one of these guys on their team. And for the Astros, that is Jose Altuve. And even before Altuve, it was Carlos Correa, but obviously Correa left in the 2022 off season. So for the past two seasons, it's been Altuve on and off the field. Now, whether you like him or hate him, just like Draymond Green, Jose Altuve is the guy for the Astros on the field that does all the dirty work for them. This comes to fielding or when hitting leadoff. Oh, you need him to go out there and hit for the 300 average and get on base? He can do that. You want him to go out there and draw a walk and not strike out? He can do that. You want him to go out there and hit a leadoff home run or a leadoff double? He can do that. Altuve is the orchestrator of this offense. And I think for a lot of people, they understood this, that when they saw Altuve off the field versus on the field, this Astros offense and level of intensity that they play with. When Altuve has been on the field for this Astros team this season, this team and this offense have been playing at another level that most teams probably could never hit. Even when Altuve is out of the lineup, this team still has the capabilities of beating anyone in a three or seven game series. But it just feels like whenever he's not in the lineup, there seems to be a lack of intensity in some of these games that the Astros probably should be winning. Regardless of whether or not you like these two guys, Jose Altuve and Draymond Green to me are sort of the same kind of players when they're on the field in their respective sports. Draymond Green is the heart and soul of that Warriors basketball team. He is the guy that sets the tone for the entire rest of the team on the defensive side, tells guys where they need to and not need to be. And on the offensive side. He is the orchestrator of that offense. He leads the ball up the court instead of Seth Curry. He creates the shots and starts the plays up for certain players like Curry and Clay Thompson. Draymond Green sets the tone for that team. And it seems now that's the same way that Altuve is whenever I watch the Ashes play with and without him. Altuve is the spark plug. Altuve is the tone setter for the team. Altuve can go out there and create for himself and create for others. He can go out there and do the dirty work or carry the work for you. There are a lot of comparisons I can make between the Warriors and the Astros. Warriors have their star player in Steph Curry, which is basically Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. Klay Thompson is Steph Curry's wingman, just how Kyle Tucker is Jordan Alvarez's wingman of lefties. Whenever Jordan isn't picking up the slack one night, Kyle Tucker can pick up the slack that night. Same way as whenever Steph Curry would have a bad game, Klay Thompson would pick him up. Draymond Green is the heart and soul of that team and sets everybody up for success on that team. Same way Jose Altuve is the heart and soul of this team and sets everybody else up on this team. Then you have your key position guys that play the role so well. For the Warriors, it's Andrew Wiggins. And for the Astros, it's Alex Bregman and Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena with a phenomenal glove over there at shortstop and a really good bat and can slug. And then Alex Bregman, one of the most elite plate discipline hitters in the league, who also has a pretty good glove over there at third if uh, I won't brag about it too much though. But the greatness of Altuve's leadership shows and exudes whenever he's on the field versus when he's not, and it's very apparent in this team. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you think that Altuve is the spark plug, the leader of this team? Do you not think so? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new because I have plenty more baseball content like this and I'll see you all in the next one. Adios, peace, amigos.